One search allows you to search multiple library databases, open access resources, and the library's catalog of books at once. To use one search to search the library's catalog of books, type your keywords in the search box. I'm going to use the example of sustainability. You're going to get a lot of different types of resources. To search just books, you'll want to go to the menu on the left. Under Refine My Results, select Resource Type, select Books, and finally select Apply Filters. Your results will be ranked by relevancy, meaning that the books where your keyword is in the title of the book and more often in the record, like in the subject area, will be higher than books where the keyword is in the table of contents just once. Your results will also give you both physical books and ebooks. You can tell if a book is a physical copy or an ebook by looking at the availability section of the book's record. If it says it's available at a specific library, that means it's a physical copy. If it says it's available online, that means it's an ebook. To limit your results to just physical books on the Refine My Results Select Library, and then Kenyatta College Library. You can also see what physical books CSM and Skyline have available with the other options, but we'll cover that later on. Now click on Apply Filters. To view the record of the book, click on its title. Let's look at the record for sustainability made simple. Here we have the title of the book, the author or authors, and the year the book was published. To see if a book is available for checkout, look under Location Items. This will tell you what library the book is located in, the call number, and whether it's available. What's a call number? Once you find the book you want, write down or take a picture of the call number. Call numbers are like the book's address. They tell you where the book is located in the library. Let's look at the other parts of a book record. Under Details, we have the title and author again, but we also have the subject headings. Remember, the books in the library are organized by subject. You can use these subject headings to come up with more keywords to find more resources on the same subject. We also have the description of the book and the table of contents. Both of these will help us decide if this book would be useful for our needs. Another neat trick with OneSearch is that it will show you related resources under Virtual Browse. Be aware that some of these will be books for CSM or Skyline, but you can still check those out by going to those libraries. Finally, while on OneSearch, you can copy the permalink of the book's record or even email it to you. You will want to copy the permalink in order to come back to this exact record. Do not use the address line of your browser. At Kenyatta, all you need to check out physical books is some sort of picture ID, usually your student ID card. If you want to see what's at CSM and Skyline, scroll up to the top and select SMCCD Collections. If a book is located at more than one library, it will say, and other locations. In the record, it will look like this. Let's say I want a copy of Beyond Sustainability, A Thriving Environment, but I want to pick it up at CSM. Select Sign In to place a request to pick up an item. Select SMCCD students, faculty, and staff, and use your one login credentials, the same credentials you use to get into Canvas in your email. Then under Get It, click Request for Pickup. Select your pickup location, and finally, select Send Requests. There we go. I'd give it about a week for the book to come in. To review, use OneSearch to search the library's catalog, Use a picture ID to check out library materials. A call number is like a book's address. You can email or copy the permalink of a record. You can request books from Skyline and CSM. And remember, if you still have questions, come see a librarian.
We're always happy to help.